Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alfeka Mutardi, and I'm with the Coalition for a National Infrastructure Bank. Thanks for joining us today. I wanted to give you a quick update on the economy and present a plan forward for how we can stop Larry Summers and Jerome Powell from wrecking our economy, maybe even our banking system. There is an alternative on the table where we can grow our economy faster and more equitably for all Americans at the same time that we fix all of our infrastructure. So where are we today on the economy? Unfortunately, we've had rising uh, consumer price inflation now up to uh, eight and a half percent over the last 12 months. And the uh, answer of the Federal Reserve is to clamp down on monetary policy to curb recession. And what that means is that uh, they'll raise interest rates until they see joblessness increasing again. We could be putting millions of people out of work uh, to solve the, the inflation problem. In addition to that, um, we have uh, a systemic financial crisis that may be brewing on account of the fact that banks since 2008 have not been well regulated. They're back into the derivatives business and things are melting down. The stock market is melting down and uh, our economy could be in really, really serious trouble. We need to have an alternative policy to this monetary policy of let's cause an inflation and destroy the economy and maybe even the banking sector too. The National Infrastructure Bank is that policy. It will fix all of our nation's infrastructure. Uh, things are melting down all over the place. We're having droughts in the Southwest because we haven't got a plan for getting water into there, into our farmers. That could really jack up food prices in the future. We've had hurricanes that have destroyed infrastructure again in Louisiana, in Florida, in Puerto Rico. Uh, we need to harden our electric power grid. Our transportation sector is really ailing and there's not enough money in the budget for all of these things. A national infrastructure bank will finance all all of that infrastructure over the next 10 years completely. And in addition, it will really restore our economy. How does it do that? It'll lower inflation. It'll uh, lean against any recession that Summers and Powell cause. Uh, it, it will uh, hire millions of workers into great paying jobs that will help to solve the income inequality problem and get our uh, finances back on a sure footing. Uh, if we sl slip into a recession, it could be a downward spiral for many years to come. This is an alternative policy. Uh, we have a, a, a bill in Congress, HR 3339, which will create this $5 trillion public bank to lend for infrastructure projects all across the country. Let's not have our food prices escalate over the next several years. Let's not have our bridges falling down. Let's get all of our lead service pipes out of the ground so that we're not poisoning our children. Let's get our roads and uh, bridges fixed and moving again. And all of this can be done. We can hire people for great family sustaining wages to get our, our economy more productive and back on the road. It's been done four times before in our nation's past, and we can do it again today. Thank you.